Hi YouTube, what's up? Today is September 1st, 2019. Today we're going to be talking about something very educational. I've been making videos for a little over nine years now. And I've been, always been searching to make props or finding things from thrift stores, hardware stores, toy stores, grocery stores, even craft stores to enhance, make my videos better, and yeah. This is a tutorial, <clears throat> excuse me, about how to make a believable and very enjoyable video or fan-based movie. Now, there could be many categories, horror, comedy, romantic, you name it. And there's other franchises you could also make dance from the Ghostbusters, The Crow, Highlander. I mean, it's wide open out there for many possibilities. And once you get these down to an art or to a science or to the ink, you'll be able to make a great video that's shareable. Except for my videos, of course, I don't know why, but I'm not going to talk about that. Then, you're able to have the right tools and the knowledge that I'm about to share with you in this video. How to make a video with just stuff laying around the house or these stores, grocery stores, you name it. First off is know your budget. You got to know... What the budget is, so you can think about creating a category video, or it could be, it could be a romantic comedy, or it could be a drama, it could be a thriller, it could be a crime thriller, it could be a horror, comedy horror, combinations out there, many combinations. It could be any rating, of course. It could be family friendly, it could be for teens, it could be for adults. Because the effects is a bit harsh. Then create a storyline and a title for that movie or video. Then go out there. If you have a person that draws well to make co to design costumes, and then he or she or a team of both go out to these thrift stores and find old clothes, and there was just, let's say for example, a zombie film, that buy clothes, and they use scissors and lighters to damage the clothes to a point where the clothes is rotting, and the former rises up. Now this is called co-wrapping. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's someone who knows how to act in, in a part <clears throat> and they train the performer how to act in that specific part of the character. Most importantly, design the character and create the character and use the character. It could be a hero, it could be a superhero, it could be a superhero, fixin, villainous, demon, monster, anything you want. At least the characters should be believable. They should have a backstory to those characters, each one of them. And then the origin is how they got the superpowers, or they from another planet, or it was a science project, and some kind of lab experiment somewhere. And then make, find, or build your own props. Now, I've bought from the dollar store plenty of cups as well as Halloween themed the past two years Halloween themed gauntlets, wine glasses, cups, plates as well as just yesterday on the Dollar Tree I bought this spider web booking snack dish it's all cost out very within my budget and then it could be makeup effects. It could be special makeup, 
for appliances, for your theater, it could be just basic, ordinary, everyday makeup, glamour, or it could be anything. You, you can add if you create an alien character, a woman from another planet, and she's very science fiction y, and you let that female performer know that she's going to play an alien and she'll have glitter on her mouth, on her lips, above her eyebrows, anything. It could be mega plants. Mega effects is also one of the main keys making a video. And then there's editing, also known as post production. Now, yeah, Making a video, you gotta have the proper special visual effects. Like for me, for example, I got plenty of both my external drives. And on my laptop, I got Starlink Power Director, Movie Maker, that's the basic movie making program. And then I have, oops, a, it's called Paint Photoshop. And then I have Pearl Paint Shop Pro that alters images. And then combine all that stuff together, be able to make a perfect and believable video within time has been planned, made, and created. It could be behind the schedule, due to the fact that your friends. We'll be at work, you need to find a time to slip in to make those video movies and characters. And after it's all said and done, the rapper party begins. <clears throat> and then you'll be able to pay cash to the performers and stunt performers. Also, that's also stunt performers or stunt doubles with hero props. That's props that are hard to destroy it due to the fact that it's made from an unbreakable material, let's say foam, TV foam, or cardboard, or whatever it may seem made out of, to be rubber latex with chrome painting, which is okay. That's making that's how you make a hero prop by using unbreakable materials to make an identical looking prop or costume accessory. Or, if you want to, if you have within your budget, you take all your friends, those in the production, the trainer, for training the performers on the beaten character, the makeup artist, everyone in your team to a perfect meal out there somewhere. It could be anything from Chinese. It could be for pizza or Mexican, but whatever that's within your budget. Now, these are many options to make videos. You also, got to have, I forgot to say this earlier, that you got to have the proper camera. It could be within your budget as well. It could be you already have a couple years ago, or if you have a video camera that hold with your hand with that strap that holds between your hand and the camera itself and it's able to be transferred the video into the computer is you gotta have that way if you have these programs or what to have these programs and then all of a sudden bam you're a perfect beginner making a cool looking video in a radical and amazing movie within your budget and it's very educational because I've been learning this since early 2000s and I've been learning this I'm still learning of this very day who knows mostly I've been making YouTube videos where I just show up and make videos the same what I've made in a costume or a prop or 
product review, something about live or the categories in movies and TV shows. That's just me. But you are your own person. You can make your own choices, and that is okay by me because being an individual means that you have thought, you have imagination, you have dreams, even goals. Be sure you reach those goals, make things happen because you have that power within you. I believe in you and just have fun making videos. Fan base with the special effects. You can do whatever you want. It's your video and your friends helping you with those videos. Okay, cool. This is about the end of the video. On the multiple art piece, so it's something you want to shout a sharp part about, shall I? Write that sharp request for yourself, your friends, maybe a fellow subscriber, leave that screen below, my new videos, my just box on my YouTube page. I do three videos every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you're a subscriber, if you're a subscriber, if not, what do you do? You just hit that button from my Facebook. Blogger, get in motion on Patreon, both things on the screen below. Please share, like, comment, subscribe. Want to find out my new YouTube views that you bring? Hit the bell and give a ring. Don't forget to subscribe to five amazing users. Chris Broad, W, Kid Nerf, the Avatar Prince, and the Wooden Elf. We'll look on the screen below. Once again, thank you for watching. Please share, like, comment, subscribe. And this is my tutorial on filmmaking. Later.